From the traditional Scottish kilts, the actors braved the cold in, to the unexpected and well-written cameos weaved into the series. This is the behind-the-scenes secrets of Outlander you never knew. Welcome to a journey into the world of Outlander like never before. This time, we're stepping behind the cameras to uncover some intriguing behind-the-scenes secrets that you never knew. From traditional kilt-wearing customs to character inspirations drawn from real-life heroes, the production of Outlander offers a fascinating glimpse into the makings of this beloved show. One of the most striking elements of the show is the vibrant depiction of Scottish culture, with its traditional garments taking center stage. The kilt, a distinctive unisex piece of clothing worn by men and women alike, is as quintessentially Scottish as bagpipes and haggis. It's no surprise, then, that kilts feature heavily in Outlander. Now, it might raise a few eyebrows, but tradition dictates that kilts be worn without any underwear. This peculiar practice, referred to as going regimental or going commando, is steeped in Scottish military history. And indeed, the actors of Outlander embrace this unique tradition. They wore their kilts just as the Scots would have during the 18th century with nothing underneath. I hope it didn't get cold too often. This adherence to cultural accuracy contributed a sense of authenticity to the series, enhancing the viewer's immersion into the historical period. Avid fans of the show would be interested to know that the valiant Jamie Fraser, brought to life by the talented Sam Hewen, had a wide variety of influences when it came to his depiction. While we know Jamie as a fictional character, it's quite intriguing to learn that he was inspired by real-life figures. Jamie's name was first drawn from Jamie McCrimmon, a character in a Doctor Who episode titled The War Games, which also played a crucial role in shaping the Scottish setting of the Outlander series. However, the character's personality traits and heroism were borrowed from a figure detailed in Eric Linklater's book, Prince in the Heather. Linklater's work tells the harrowing story of 19 wounded Jacobite soldiers who hid in a farmhouse following the brutal battle of Culloden. The Redcoats discovered the soldiers and executed all but one of them after two days. The sole survivor, a Fraser from the Master of Lovitz Regiment, exhibited such bravery and resilience that he caught Diana Gabaldon's attention. This historical Fraser soldier served as the template for Jamie Fraser's character. His courage, resilience, and unwavering loyalty mirror that of his historical counterpart, infusing a layer of historical authenticity into the narrative. The portrayal of this character brings an engaging human element to the broader historical events depicted in the show. From his carefully crafted character to the culturally accurate portrayal of Scottish attire, these behind-the-scenes details further enhance the series' appeal taking viewers on a journey back in time and into the heart of 18th century Scotland. These intriguing snippets of information serve to illustrate the meticulous attention to detail employed by the creators of Outlander, from wardrobe decisions to character development. And we thank them for their brilliant work. Moving on, were you aware of the connection Outlander had with arguably one of the biggest shows in television history? The world of television is more interconnected than you might think. Notably, a few familiar faces from the Outlander cast have also made appearances in HBO's fantasy epic Game of Thrones. This unexpected crossover has added an extra layer of interest for fans of both shows. Take Tobias Menzies, for instance, known to Outlander fans for his dual role as Frank Randall and the ruthless Blackjack Randall. However, before he became a fixture in the Outlander universe, Menzies appeared in the third season of Game of Thrones as Edmure Tully, the Lord of Riverrun, and Lord Paramount of Trident in the Game of Thrones series. Game of Thrones fans would probably recall Edmure more from his familial connections than from his own deeds. He was the maternal uncle of the Stark children, Rob, Sansa, Arya, Bran, and Rickon, as well as Robin Aaron. The switch from the political intrigues of Westeros to the historical adventures of Scotland speaks to Menzies' versatility as an actor. But he wasn't the only one to cross the wall, so to speak. Another familiar face from Outlander who found his way into the Game of Thrones universe is Graham McTavish, who we fondly know as Dougal Mackenzie. He recently confirmed his exciting new role in the Game of Thrones prequel, House of the Dragon. 
It's always thrilling to see beloved actors exploring new roles in different universes, especially ones we're so fond of. Now, let's turn our attention to an intriguing fact about the production of Outlander. Did you know that the first season was ordered before a pilot was even filmed? This unconventional approach is a testament to the immense faith and vision that the creators and network had in the series from the very beginning. In the television industry, networks typically order a pilot episode before deciding to invest in a full season. This single episode serves as a testing ground, giving the network an idea of how audiences might receive the show. However, Outlander broke away from this standard practice. It speaks volumes about the confidence that stars had in the show's potential success that they bypassed the traditional pilot stage and went straight to ordering a full season. Given the series' resounding success, it's clear that this was a gamble. That paid off tremendously. When shows achieve greatness, it's common that cameos soon follow, and that's no different when it comes to Outlander. There's been no shortage of cameos so far, but when the original author of the story and the director decides to hit the screen, fans are over the moon. While her words have laid the foundation for the entire show, Gabaldon has also made a direct contribution to the series. She had a cameo in the fourth episode of the first season, titled The Gathering. Gabaldon portrayed the character Iona McTavish, a wealthy widow visiting Castle Leoch. Despite having no prior acting experience, Gabaldon held her own alongside the professional actors and delivered a memorable performance. It's always exciting for fans to see the author of a beloved series make an appearance in its television adaptation. And here was no different. Outlander's director, Metin Hussein, also made a brief on-screen appearance in the series. Hussein, who has directed several episodes throughout the show, played the part of a sea captain in the season three episode, The Doldrums. This little Easter egg added an extra layer of intrigue for fans in the know. Along with these two interconnected cameos, the show has also seen cameos from other famous faces. For example, Irish singer-songwriter Brian McGrattan, also known as Grianne Mayol, made a guest appearance as himself in the fifth season's episode, Journey Cake. This added a delightful touch of authenticity to the series' historical setting. Likewise, Fraser Hines, the actor who played Jamie McCrimmon in Doctor Who, a character who partly inspired Jamie Fraser, made a special appearance in Outlander. Hines portrayed Sir Gordon Fletcher, the English warden of Ardsmuir Prison, in the third season. This clever nod to the show's origins was a delightful surprise for fans. From the original author to the director and guest stars, these cameo appearances are a fun aspect of Outlander's production. They not only highlight the show's connection to its source material and its creators, but also serve as a delightful surprise for viewers. So whether it's Diana Gabaldon appearing as a Scottish widow, or the director stepping in front of the camera, these surprising guest appearances add another layer of richness to the already captivating world of Outlander. Keep an eye out, because you never know who might turn up next in this thrilling series. As we conclude this behind-the-scenes exploration, it's evident that Outlander is a series steeped in fascinating details and secrets. From its cast connections to other popular series, its unconventional production order, and surprising cameo appearances, Outlander continues to surprise and delight its fans. Thanks for joining us on this journey, and stay tuned for more exciting insights into your favorite shows. So from the unexpected and well-written cameos weaved into the series, to the traditional Scottish kilts, the actors braved the cold in. This was the behind-the-scenes secrets of Outlander you never knew.